um, we're going to add custom product builder to a, a new theme in this video so here's an article available in our Zendesk um, knowledge base you can find it by searching for manually adding custom product builder to a new theme title it's in the section for installation and customizing product builder page so if you used an unpublished theme and now want to publish it custom product builder will not be installed into it you can rerun installation into the new theme by reinstalling deleting and reinstalling the application but uh, if you can also manually add the theme and add the custom product builder to the theme and that's what we're going to do so the first thing to do is create a snippet called custom product builder initializer and that's quite simple we find uh, we go to themes choose the theme actions edit code and there will be a snippet here and section so we're going to create add new snippet and we'll just add custom product builder initializer we copied it right from here create snippet dot liquid is added automatically now we're just gonna copy this code here and paste it into this file it's uh, it, its logic is pretty much to show custom product builder if custom product builder is enabled or to show default product page layout if custom product builder is not enabled so about this product page uh, is section should match with the section from your uh, sections part some uh, themes call it different ways so it's sometimes called product template or product page so in this case it's called product template so we are going to use a different section name here but we'll do that in a few steps um, because first we're going to create we're going to confirm that hypothesis that I just made um, going and we're going to template file called product liquid so we find the file template product.liquid and we can see that it has product template section here so what we need to do is we need to replace product template with custom product builder initializer which will check to if it needs to show the regular page or customizable page and then under custom product builder initializer we'll just also change this section below uh, to product template because that's what it's called in this theme uh, and our default code just references some other theme um, after that only one thing's left is to add custom product builder CSS file under assets add a new asset oh sorry it's um, going to be a blank file I'm gonna add custom product builder and CSS is right here so add asset and then we're going to copy the default CSS we have here so we're gonna save it and now preview and we're going to find uh, custom product
theme. All right, custom product builder is uh, showing up right here. Uh, and uh, you can add it to cart. Oops. Okay, it was added to cart. All information is here, products are added, always good. We don't have to save anything. That's it, thank you very much.